the same pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's Friday edition of the Pit Stop for you, the pit crew. You are the real star of today's show. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Happy Friday to everybody. Friday is a great, great day because we're kicking off the weekend. And boy, do I have a busy three days coming up ahead. I'm, I'm super excited, super pumped about the next three days. Um, got cool projects that we're doing here. I'll talk about that towards the end of the show. Um, we've got the Oval Series tonight. We've got three wide tomorrow. We got the GT Series on Sunday. I've been playing a set of Corsa Competizione. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, you don't say, Stuart. Is that is that a fact? Let's uh, let's talk about that. So let's get into the news. Uh, and, and a warning again. It's been a light news week all week long. So today's show won't be terribly long, but. Uh, we have things we're going to be doing here, uh, especially uh, for those on Twitch. Hey, Twitch! Uh, Simpit Live on Twitch after the pit stop. We're going to move into a DIY project. Uh, well, the third phase of the same project, but uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. So, what is going on? Logitech had a post today. Logitech themselves posted this about Grid. Grid! times G923. Experience grid like never before with true force and the new Logitech G923 now available. By the way, I've sent emails, multiple emails to Logitech and have not heard back from them. Um, I do not rap, Brad, but, but in regards to this post here, in regards to everything that we've speculated and, you know, we saw... We saw the, the, the pictures that came out like two days before the announcement, and I think all of us jumped all over the fact that it basically looked like the same wheel, and what's the deal? And the only thing that's ever been said different about the 923 compared to the 920, or the G29, is true force. All right. You guys know Gamer Muscle. Gamer Muscle is a good friend of our show, and... Uh, Here's what he had to say about it. I'm not going to play the whole thing. The link is in the description of the show. MC Simrig coming from the basement, representing all the sim racers. Turn up your force feedback. Edit your any files. Logitech, what you playing at? You got a brand new wheel that is going off track. Now it seems to me like you've just gone back, but to hide the fact you introduced some smack. True force, true force. Logitech are calling it true force, true force, true force. It's purely marketing, of course. All the G's represent. G25, G27, G29, G25, G27, G29. A different number, same G. The price increases, you see. Taking all your money, <laughs> spending it on marketing, not doing R&D. <laughs> now there is no DD. Playing big company game, re-release a product that's <laughs> practically the same. Every time they do it, YouTubers chew through it. Yes, I guess it's time to <coughs> review it. Sponsorship deals, ad revenue, hyping, misleading marketing to you. Everyone's a winner, rolling in cash, spending it on gold and overpriced hash. MC Hawkins in the house. G25, best value for money, indestructible, nothing funny, the universal constant of consumer trust has now been irreversibly damaged. Logitech, what you playing at? You got a brand new wheel that is going off track. Now it seems to me like you've just gone back, but to hide the fact you introduced some smack. True force, true force. Logitech are calling it true force, true force. True force, purely marketing, of course. To be clear, the Logitech G293 does have some slight differences over the previous wheel, which will have taken work and R&D by Logitech. It also makes no sense to change a proven design. 
However, these changes are marginal at best, and it's unlikely a consumer buying a will in this price bracket, if given the choice, would choose to pay an additional half to double the price for these new features. If you plan to spend over £350 on a force feedback wheel and less than £700, get either a Thrustmaster T300 with T3PA pedals or a Fanatec CSA Elite. <laughs> Knowing Logitech, it will probably take 6 to 12 months and then the G293 will be to something slightly more expensive than what the previous wheel was, but a price that is no longer a complete piss take. At 160 to 270 pounds, the Logitech G Series wheels represent a fantastic value for money entry into sim racing, and are typically super reliable with great quality included pedals that are far better than the bundled T300 pedals. I personally am a huge fan of the Logitech G25, G27, G29, and the C920 webcams. However, I am not a fan of BS marketing <laughs> and price hikes, especially when a product is fundamentally good product and does not require snake oil salesmanship. This was a public service announcement by the Gemma Muscle Department of Force Feedback. Remember to use my Amazon affiliate link under this video when buying wheels if you enjoy cringy wrapping from a bold git. Thank you for watching, happy tea drinking, and goodbye. Okay, James. I bow down to you, buddy. I will never do anything as clever and awesome as that. That was the best. That was the best. Um, my hat's off. If you just watched that and you're amused, you know what? Please go watch his video. He deserves the views, so I feel like I cheated by playing it here. Um, man, that was brilliant. That was brilliant, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say anymore. James said it all. I couldn't say anymore. Um... <laughs> I just, again, man, oh my god, oh my god, uh, that was the best. I, I, so entertained and so on point, you know, and we can laugh and we can joke and we can clown, it was so on point. I mean, everything he said was very, very on point. I, I didn't get his permission to play that, and that's why I'm saying, hey, please go watch it on his youtube channel he deserves the clicks I, I gave you the link it's the second link i believe in the description uh and it's certainly something you're going to want to play again anyway so go watch it on his show instead of watching this as much as i want you to watch my show again he gets it all because man brilliant brilliant buddy <laughs> all right uh man i feel now i'm like ashamed to even show my content uh, this yesterday I did release my F1 2020 uh, Codemasters F1 2020 full review. Uh, I'm I'm pretty proud of this video, you guys. So I don't know if you've had a chance to watch it. Uh, I took my time. I did take my time for uh, doing this video. I'll mute me because two of me is too much. Um, really proud of the video itself and and my work behind it and, and doing it. It also was a long-winded version of what you're gonna see in the future. So if you took that video and you cut it in half in length, that's what you can expect to see in the future on like my Assetto Corsa Competizione review that's now in the works. Um, I'm gonna just keep simplifying so that I give you everything you need to know and cut all the fat. That's what I've been trying to do. Cut the fat, cut the fat. Um, yeah, now back to boring old Sean compared to James. I cannot compete. No way. Um, <laughs> John, you're not allowed to promote your own. You can't, you cannot nominate yourself for a simi. Yeah, and you guys, when it gets time to the simis, which, when do we start taking suggestions for the simis? So, we are going to have... The 2020 Simmies, the Simpit Awards, and we are going to nominate various different things for various different categories that have happened over 2020. And it's going to be on all of you guys to make suggestions, make nominations, and take the picks. Um, so, yes. Izzy! Izzy, did you see a uh, man? Izzy. Please send a message to James that that was the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they are calling it True Force. Oh,
Take what you're playing at. You got a brand purely marketing, of course. Oh. Represents. All right, all right. Let's get on with it. That was the best thing ever. Uh, so you can see right here at the sim pit, you can see my full review of F1 2020 iRacing. Uh, another W Series event. I thought it was wrapped up. I guess somebody's wrapped up the championship. There's still a race or two to go. Um, to race 10, I believe. This is the 10th. Um, the title might be nailed, but we'll see a top five standing shakeup. That was uh, yesterday, I believe. Uh, NASCAR still talking about the chicane and everything, the racing there. I heard some decent things about the racing that went on there. Um, epic wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles between Naomi Schiff and Ira Sirikova. Sorry. Tent stuff. This was at Silverstone in the W Series. And at the end of the day, it was SM Girl Racer 26. And there you go. Bernard Pollard talking about Watkins Glen. I'm assuming he plays football. I'm just going to take a shot and say that he plays football. Those look like some game balls. Um, Zelensky on board from Tuesday night's Coca-Cola race. Uh, then you got Garrett Smithley. Big shout out to iRacing for getting this track ready for us. Hopefully the laps will pay off come Sunday. Talking about the big event. And Porsche Motorsport promoting this weekend's races, and that's all I have to say about that. Um, like an indie car specific game? Yeah, that'd be really cool. I'm not sure. Yes, I. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm not sure it'd be that successful. Um, anyway, David Perel, uh, Coach Dave, drumroll, we've just released our new setup bundle for the BMW M4 GT4 and a set of course of Competizione, available now on the Coach Dave Academy. So, that's good news for BMW fans. I drove that exact paint scheme yesterday. Uh, Project Cars, they're talking about, take your favorite car and upgrade it all the way from track day, hopefully, hopeful, to a full bore race track ready machine with a race conversion kit. Then get out on the track and humble cars that should leave you for dead. There you go. Cart sim. Like cart as in old time champ car? Cart? Or do you mean cart like carting? K. Cart. Uh, what else? That's it. That's it from them. F1 Esports Series, presented by Aramco. What is Aramco? I don't know them. That's got to be a, a European company. Uh, returns remotely, remotely, for fourth season with record prize fund. Formula One has announced the F1 Esports Series, presented by Aramco, will return for a fourth season with one of the biggest ca cash prize funds in sports simulation esports, an offer at... $750,000. The action gets underway with the Pro Draft Reveal Show, August 27th, where the official F1 teams will reveal their selected roster of talented drivers. A record-breaking number of participants of over 237,000 attempted to qualify for this year's competition as F1 Esport continues to enjoy its most exciting year yet. Um... It's a Saudi petroleum company. Thank you, Random. Thank you, Spatial. Uh, yeah, that's pretty major, you guys. 750000 at the end of the month. Uh, a week from now, a little over a week, 10 days. On August 27th, stop doing that, Sean. That's 13 days from now. Almost two weeks. Uh, we will have the Pro Draft Reveal Show. And is this a new video? The battle for the title is on. More competitive than ever. All five lights are on. We're racing in Bahrain. He's gone up the inside. A fantastic overtake. Four. Oh, he's hit him. The racing at Suzuka. It's a great move. What drama. Thank you, Scrutinizer. Yes. 
Everyone hit that like button. Unless you think we suck, and then you hit the, the, the I hate it button, right? That's fair. Uh, anyway, that's coming up on the 27th. We'll tune in for that. It'll be interesting to see what drivers are kept, what kept drivers are dropped, and what drivers are picked up in the shenanigans. And then it's always interesting also to see like where the curveballs, the things from outside come in that aren't through the normal channels. Okay, so tell me I'm wrong on this. This is from Dirt 5, and they're all excited. They're announcing their soundtrack. Feel the vibe of Dirt 5 with our biggest ever soundtrack with music from Storm Z, Kembrose, Youngblood, Prodigy, The Prodigy, Foles, Fowls, Foles, Foles, Newfound Glory, and more. Um, including, look, Shaka Khan. Anyway, here's their big uh, thing of licensed music. I can't rap, Brad. I got no talent in those ways. Just not a rap guy. You can thumb down if you want if I can't rap. Um, to rant wig and rap. I would have to really, I'm, no, I'm certainly not a freestyle rapper. I would need a, a practiced, rehearsed script in order to do such a thing. I don't even know if I could write with the talent of the words chosen here. G25, G27, G29, G25, G27, G29. A different number. I Same cannot G. sing. The price increases. Seven M. <laughs> Taking all your money, spending it on marketing. <laughs> so good, so good. Okay, so here's here's my issue, and tell me I'm wrong. Doesn't everyone and their mother stream in 2020? I mean, there's a reason you can't buy a webcam. It's because everyone in the world is streaming. If everybody is in the world is streaming, why are you setting them up and sending them down the path of demonetization by including all of this completely licensed song, music, that's going to just, it's going to be a heyday of demonetized streams. In my opinion, in the modern era, just go pay a little bit of money for some local band to crank out some tunes or, I don't know, get, buy some generic music that allow, or buy the licensing that allows people with your title to use the music. I don't know. I don't know the rules there. I don't know the fine line on where licensing begins and ends and whatnot, but it just kind of makes me mad that they're excited about what is going to be my nightmare if I'm not really quick to go turn off all the music. And then if they had a game that they thought should be played with music, now I don't get that because I got to turn it all off in order to not get demonetized. But I don't say that just for me. And if you're a streamer out there, be careful when you have music in the game. It's going to demonetize you. <laughs> Thank you, Izzy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't play music if you're a streamer. So, anyway, you're going to turn off this fine selection. You're going to turn off Shaka Khan. There's the full list. All right. Formula One. Uh, yep, we already talked about their money. Verstappen doing a circuit Barcelona Catalonia lap. Um, Spain's more about circuit de Catalonia, so that's this week's race. Um, can you stream Guitar Hero? I doubt it, Brian. I don't know. I don't know. There's a whole game based on my theory. That one shoots Swiss whole Swiss cheeses my 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 argument perhaps. Um See John, I thought that, but I wasn't going to even say it because it was almost like too much me trying to act like I was singing, which I best not do. Um Hey, Messer Lip Tick. How you doing, buddy? 
Uh, NASCAR Heat 5, August 13th patch note. So yesterday there was a patch for NASCAR Heat 5. Let's see here. Recent post. No, no, no. Uh, fix custom rims. That's really important. Fix crash after last non-playoff race and championship. Anyway, small list of fixes that were done to NASCAR Heat. Now, free play days. You know, I got to tell you, it's not a hardcore sim. Um, but it's an enjoyable game. For sure. Um, motorsport games, talking about it. But NASCAR Heat 5 is available to play for all Xbox Live Gold members as part of the Free Play Days promotion this weekend. So anyway, if you have Xbox Live Gold, you can actually go play NASCAR Heat 5. And if you haven't bought it and you're just looking for some fun over the weekend, I, I give it a recommend. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Don't expect a sim, but expect some fun. Um... Um, yes again, but music is copyrighted, so video only. Um, what do you mean video only? Oh, you, but you can't play the music. Well, that, that defeats the point of the game. Uh, and then they're talking about their big patch. And then this weekend's race. Just six days left until the E-NASCAR Heat Championship Final. Tune in at 8 p.m. on August 19th. For their big final. I mean, a lot of money on the line there. So that, I mean, if you haven't watched their racing over the season, there's enough money on the line that this is going to be worth watching. So put it on your calendars. You're going to want to check that out. Air Guitar Championships. Um, yeah, Liptic J. I mean, it... It'd be nice if it was a hardcore sim in terms of that it comes with all the, the cars and tracks and sponsors and liveries and all that. But then, you know, I gave that a lot of thought because it's like, well, through trading paints, you could create such a thing. But funny enough, we're all cool with having our own sponsors anyway. I don't really want to run around in Denny Hemlin's car. I want to run around in Sean Cole's car. Simpit. Um, but... Anyway, it's a fun game. If you if you have Xbox Live, it'll play fine on the controller. I didn't do it, but I can tell you it'll play fine on the controller. Uh, GT, Gran Turismo. They are uh, showing off some of the highlight videos from Oceana. I think we've sh seen some of these or talked about those races. And yeah, that's there if you're just looking for some get-through-the-day entertainment. Again, this, uh, links to everything I'm talking about are in the description. So if there's something that you think is worth watching, like... Gamer Not Muscles doing R &D. video. Now there is no DD. Oh, G-Tech play big company game. Re-releasing products that are practically the same. Every time they do it, YouTubers chew through it. Yes, I guess it's time to review it. Sponsorship deals, ad revenue, hyping, misleading marketing to you. Brilliant. All right. <laughs> um... <laughs> Tofi, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I pull up the Simbins page looking for news on GTR3. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And no, the answer is no. There's no news. Uh, the other thing I noticed that you did put in uh, in the news, you had posted about Test Drive uh, Unlimited. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, that's the one. I, they, I check them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well. And I'm just waiting on them to give any news or change this information right here, planned release date. Just so you know, both of those are on my radar, as well as Field VR, by the way. Um, but if I don't talk about it, it's because there's been no news whatsoever about GTR 3. All right, WRC, uh, I don't speak that language. From Gamer w WRC Driver, the gap whittles away. In 2021, start your international WRC career by playing WRC 9 through the FIA Rally Star Program. All the details. WRC 9 chosen for Rally Star Talent Search. Oh. Uh, the latest version uh, has been selected as the cornerstone of a new global scheme to unearth the WRC Stars of Tomorrow. The newest edition of the highly successful uh, September 3rd. The first step in the multi-phase selection process begins December 
when a DLC downloadable content for WRC 9 becomes available ahead of qualification starting in 2021. I now I know a lot of you guys are rock stars in the world of rally racing. So I hope you're listening right now. Um, open to all WRC 9 players between 17 and 26. They're ageists? Ageists in 2020? I didn't think you could be sexist, racist, anythingist, including ageist. How dare you? Uh, giving drivers the opportunity to take part in training and coaching programs supervised by the FIA. <laughs> Emmy, Emmy, well played. That is funny. Uh, Heavy says, are the West Brothers the devs of GTR 3, perhaps? Uh, West Brothers, the makers of the maybe the greatest vaporware uh, story in the history of sim racing. Yeah, I, yeah, no, no, yeah, no WRC for me. I, they're now blacklisted from the show. Um, yeah, next they're going to tell us we're too fat. Um... <laughs> I guess if you're looking for, well, they should call it young talent. See, I don't know if it's, it, that's even worse. You can't say you're looking for young talent. No, they did. Would allow young drivers. I'm looking for young talent. Um, anyway, that's exciting stuff, though. That's good. That's good. Rita, an update to the update. That was my thumbnail of the day, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I really liked uh, this shot here just looked cool, man. That looked really cool. Brilliant! I think brilliant's my word of the day. Uh, AMS version 1.02.1 is now live. This is a hot fix to complement the latest 1.02.0 released with a few additional improvements and fixes. Check out the full changelog. I'm not going to check out the changelog. Uh, the link is here in the description if you want to look at the whole changelog. It's a fix, a patch to a patch kind of thing. Um, just so you know. Yeah, even at 37, you're a young buck at 37, and you're out. I, uh, I don't know if it clearly stated that. Um, open to all. Seven finalists, including one female, could ultimately start their international career by aiming to join the FIA Junior WRC. WRC 9, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't say... It sounds like this person will get a look at and then what that means could end up on whether who knows what their the judgment factors will be if they got it if they have that what the French would say I don't know what je ne sais quoi funniest man such su subtle funniness in that movie anyone who knows uh, i know that tony knows what i'm talking about without me explaining anymore all right rita fixed to the fix um did i mention the funniest thing i heard today everyone's a winner rolling in cash spending it on gold and overpriced hash mc hawkins in the house G25 has valuable money, indestructible, nothing funny, the universe... Sorry, have I beaten the horse enough? Um, well, I, you said in the beginning you don't like rap at all, Tim, so I can only imagine that you would feel that way. I can still laugh probably five more times. Yeah, I, I just caught that, Tom, and I got a chuckle out of it. So yeah, I'm not even close to done. Um, <laughs> uh, tomorrow, uh, the ADAC GT Masters Esport Championship and Race Room is going on tomorrow, live at 1830 CEST on YouTube, so if you want to watch those guys, another one of those top-level esport championships going on currently. Euro Truck. Euro Truck is talking about Iberia, Lisbon. Lisbon is, is a... Lisbon. Lisbon? Lisbon is a historical city where the sun shines 290 days a year and the temperature rarely drops below 15 degrees centigrade. Featuring coastal views, great food, and more, it's no wonder millions of tourists visit the capital of Portugal each year. And some screenshots of it. Looks really nice. Yes. Yes. Yep. 
looks really nice. That's cool stuff. Oh, look at that shot. That's nice. Um, yeah, so what's, uh, today they're excited to share with you with the feature date, cost, date, cost. Um, add to my wish list. That's all I get to know. Um, bye bye bye. If you haven't already, be sure to I agree to the wish list and help support us and notifies you of its release in the future. So you can add it to your wish list and you'll be notified when it's available. Look, I, I it almost sounds like it's going to be free, by the way. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but that almost implied that it'll just kind of be there when it's there. All right, a few sim rigs, some sip hit racing news, and then we're going to bring this show to a close here on YouTube. But just getting started at Simpit Live on Twitch. So if you haven't already, if you're watching on Simpit, definitely going to tune in and follow us over there at uh, Twitch, Simpit Live on Twitch, where we're going to continue on. We'll talk about that in one minute. Let's look at some rigs first. I, I just like this, man. Pete, I, where there's a will, there's a way. That's one of the things I say all the time about uh, sim racing. You know, it, it, yes. We all want elaborate R seats with AccuForce wheels and Rickmotec hydraulics and triple sc screens and all those things. That's sure. That's what we all want. But with a true force, Tom Jones. Um, but at the same time, where there's a will, there's a way. So here, Corn Cobb ninety two, rate my military barracks. So in his barracks. He has a little thing holding a little laptop. He's got an ironing board holding his true force wheel. Well played, Tom Jones. And that's all it takes. Looks like he's going to play some Euro truck, by the way. Um, or ATS. American truck. Sorry, I see the American truck logo there. Uh, ATS. Anyway, you think that's good enough? Oh, no. Touche. Touche. Uh, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Posted this one. Just saw a military barracks set up, and I raise you a military college barracks set up, set up. So this guy's got a little more space. You see a little tiny bed. Um, those guys sleep on little tiny child's beds. Poor military guys. Um, <laughs> anyway, a uh, little tiny screen and a little setup, little fan to keep him cold. And you see he's hardcore, though. He's got a razor mouse, you know. Um... Anyway, I thought that was really good. Where there's a will, there's a way on a Friday. Um, there's my rap. You got it. Where there's a will, there's a way on a Friday. MC Cole in the house. Uh, Raging Tomato built his first rig with his dad over the weekend. And here it is, a proper death mobile. Unfinished and everything. He's got the cable ties on there. He's got a mess of a desk. <laughs> but... Looks like it's down in the basement. Oh, look at this. Guitar. Bass. B -b bass Am I wearing gold toe? No, I'm wearing Nike um, athletic socks. Nike uh, uh, ankle high <coughs> socks. Play seat. Check this out. Here's your overpriced rig of the year. We'll give this one a semi for the most overpriced rig of the wheel year. Um, most overpriced and just hell friggin' determined to keep a center post between your legs? What is the deal? <laughs> Joa. <laughs> That's why I don't even try. <coughs> Play seat F1 Ultimate Plus. Work in progress. Physically completed for January... First, 2021. Get in there, Lewis. <laughs> Whatever. Um, no. I'm sorry. No. 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 I don't accept that. I don't accept that. It looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. But it looks just so patched together and unnecessary. Like, it looks like, oh, well, our whole thing is to ruin your life with the center post, so let's Let's keep that going. And then let's just kind of like hang a chair between some things. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's a lot of love in that design to me. Um, looks like Watkins Glen. I don't have the Glen on my wall in my selection of brass knuckles. Crush Jelly. Crush Jelly posting this. It looks center. Um, it looks like it is 
inside of this center tube. I don't see depth. It could be. Needlessly complicated. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just not terribly impressed, you guys. I'm sorry. Teach his own. If you love it, you can love it. That's okay. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Crush jelly. Wow, this is so much better than anchoring the pedals using carpet spikes. Using an inclined bench because, well, it works superbly. So, there you go. If you're tired of working out and sim racing is more important, that's what you do with your old workout equipment. Ah, oh, left hand, left hand shift, by the way. Um, get some more photos. <laughs> He's not done working out, apparently. God dang, who is this guy? This guy's all... Don't... If you ever come across... If you ever come across Crush Jelly, whatever you do, do not crash him, because... Especially if you live in the UK, apparently. Um... <laughs> Anyway, this one gave me a good laugh today, so congratulations to you. You make me laugh, you make me happy. And then, oh, so this leads me to the rest of the day, or the Sim Pit News. Let's let's use this from uh, T Not PR posted this, and this is he thinks he has an addiction to three printing sim wheels. <laughs> you think? You think? Um, the reason I'm posting this is because it, again, made me laugh. And it brought me to what we're moving on to. So, I'm going to bring the... We're, I, all I have left is our uh, Simpit stuff going on. So, tonight, tonight we have the Simpit Oval Series. And we are going to be at North Wilkesboro for race number 6 of 8. Mark Michkowski leading in the points with 211. Anthony Morano Jr. in 2nd. David Clymer in 3rd. That is tonight at 6 o'clock. Tune in for that one as that season championship closes in. On the Simpit Road Racing Series, uh, we are for race 7 of 8 at Barber Motorsport Park. And that is on Sunday at 10 a.m. David Grunnell leading the way. With big lead. 235 points over Anthony Morano Jr. Joa Antonio sitting in third place. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., so you got tonight at 6, the Ovals. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., three wide. You got me, Devin Booth, and Amir Saad. And the three of us have a couple top topics of discussion that you're going to maybe want to be there and get involved with. Uh, first biggest topic is a in-house debate that me and Devin have over frame rate. And what do you need? What is right? What is... Now... I have my own strong opinions on this one, and they are not scientific. They are, you could even call it, you could even call it placebo effect, I don't want to hear your argument attitude when it comes to this topic, but I'm going to hear Devin out, and I don't know where Amir stands on this one, but uh, uh, minimum, see Izzy, 60 frame rates for me is like because the game forces you to, I'm not going to say anymore. I have very strong feelings on the topic of frame rate. And for people who like run with grandstands that run ah, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., three wide. Uh, the other, yeah, well, I yes, Brad, if you said that, I would take your argument. But let's leave that for tomorrow, 10 a.m. Uh, another topic with time provided, because we do keep that show to one hour. So depending on how long the frame rate conversation goes on, uh, secondary topic of the day will be uh, the do's and don'ts. Uh, endurance racing versus sprint racing. Uh, all of the Simpa teams had a really bad weekend last weekend in the Endurance Series. And it broke a lot of hearts, I think. And so we're going to talk tomorrow about endurance racing specifically. Um... <laughs> a potato. So tomorrow is 10 a.m. is that, and then of course the whole series is 10 a.m. on Sunday, and that takes me back to our 3D printed wheels. So I've been kind of changing what we're doing on Simpit Live at Twitch, and this week I've been testing out a going live at eight, and then just staying on the air till lunchtime. Sometimes I don't go that long, but on at eight, 
who knows when we're going to turn it off. And it's been going really well. I've been enjoying myself with my time there. Uh, I think the audience has been enjoying it themselves as well. We've been doing some things that allow people to come race with us. So we fired up some uh, Seto Corsa Competizione and raced with some of you out there. We're going to do a lot more of that. Uh, today we're going to do a similar thing, but we're going we're gonna to switch to hardware. So I bring up 3D printed wheels. Well, right here, I have the grip. Any of you guys who remember the 3D printed wheel project that the McLaren GT3 inspired, it, it got changed from that. Uh, uh, wheel. This is one of the grips. I never finished it. So this, if you can see, still has a really rough finish on the back side. Well, because this was as thick as it is. It's really thick, by the way. Uh, it needs to be wrapped in something like, I don't know, a fake leather? A pleather? So today, what I'm going to do is actually tear that wheel apart. And depending on time and how far we get, this might be two or three steps. We're going to try to wrap these in this this fake leather. We're also going to try to do, you can see the carbon fiber vinyl wrap on his wheels. Never done anything like it. We're going to try to do that to the base. We're going to try to wrap the grips and then put it back together and see how it holds up. Uh, I don't think we'll get that far because we, we don't have a ton of time. Uh, but we're going to get it started. Take the wheel apart and start playing with this wrap material and this glue, gluing this on and see how it goes. Anyway, that is coming up on Simpit Live right now. We're on the air now at Simpit Live on Twitch and we will continue on. I'm gonna take a quick break over there and then we're gonna move right into that project. So uh, if you wanna watch, if you wanna work along, if you have suggestions on how I can do better with it, you're gonna to wanna to tune in there and for all of our patron pit crew, uh, I will be in a very private live streaming channel so if you're a patron member you can come talk to me while i'm doing that um but we will be live so check us out sim pit live other than that happy friday everybody get out there do some sim racing thumbs up if you like what we're doing thumbs down if you think we stink uh be sure to tell a friend and most of all subscribe so we're gonna have an assetto course of competition a review coming out subscribe so you can get a notification when that does happen but that's gonna do it for this one this is the sim pit i'm sean cole and I'll see you on the track.